road splits. Split dip 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 dip. Two miles and the road ahead it splits two miles. I say that's the bits. <laughs> two miles. <laughs> As you can hear it's really noisy because there's the freeway um, but I am sitting at in and out Doo -doo 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 -doo. and I'm going to work while I wait for my ride or I'm gonna give up and read but I'm gonna try to work first in my room at my friend's house for the night and while I should be sleeping instead I'm reading Murder Goes Glamping by Melissa Chapin because sometimes a book is more important than sleep. I sure hope this is going to be as good as I think it is. And we're off. Got everything I need for the trip and the important things on top. I have never bought a book at an airport bookstore, a, a fiction book. And this one, I don't know if it's fiction or not, but it was tempting. But then I saw da, 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 this one. And it's by the gal who did The Librarian, not The Librarian, yeah, The Bright Librarian, sorry, but The Last Bookshop in London, which I've heard great things about. So I bought it. And then I had to start reading it. So I did, I got to say, guys, the opening of this was good. I'm really excited about it. It had, it's got a 17 year old girl and I think I told a little bit about it in my last video, so I won't talk about too much about it, but I got a little bit of a start on it and I really liked it and I can't wait to continue it. I'm kind of excited. I'm sure that doesn't show, but I was on my way to Phoenix from there and then when I got to Phoenix, I had to wait until I could go to St. Paul, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and then da da da. Folks, on the other flight deck, like to welcome you on board American Airlines service up to Minneapolis. Uh, cruising up to Mini uh, this morning, 31,000 feet, two hours and 40 minutes to take off, touchdown, place burn in the Minneapolis area. Winds are out of the uh, southwest at 14 miles per hour, gusts up to 26, 10 miles of visibility, few scattered clouds with a temperature of 75 degrees.
been really awesome for me as an author going through writing this. Um, I think witnessing them because I get to see how they make the covers and how they do the edits and the lineup and the copy edits and you know all the things that they want to do to make their book really shine. And then um, and then on the back end, I have all this author support. They have question and answer time where you can go and ask questions like, "What are you looking for in this particular line?" And they will tell you. And it, it's been wonderful. And there have been a lot of times where if you have a question that they can't answer, then you can email me and then you email them and they respond right back. And so again, it's it's amazing that you get more mentorship than you anticipated. So I'm doubly blessed because now I have, not only do I have Sunrise, which is an amazing mentorship, but now I have one of the I have to say, reading in a place like this Guys, I'm supposed to be working. You know, actually writing, not reading, but do you hear the trees? It's gorgeous. Okay, we'll take a picture here. Oh, great. I get to be picturesque. On Friday night, we went to Grand Marais and ate at the Angry Trout, which was a lot of fun, and just kind of walked around. The place was beautiful, and we had just a really good time of fellowship and, you know, had a chance to talk about the stuff we were working on and all the things that are going on. Some of us are in a Christmas collections together which is what yep. I was working on. And uh, so I'm working on Greetings from Next Door, my kind of semi-epistolary Christmas novel. I was there with Laura Ashwood, and she was working on hers for the Once Upon a Starry Night collection too. And she's doing one that I know happens to include a great hot chocolate recipe. And then I was there with Mandy Blake. I'm not sure what she was working on. I don't think she was working on Christmas. I was there with Lena Turner, who is a cozy mystery writer, and she was a whole lot of fun. And then uh, who else was working on? Tara Grace was working on her Christmas novella in the same collection so it was just it was just a whole lot of fun we we really enjoyed ourselves that night and of course they're closed because closed bookstore i have never been allowed to be inside <laughs> super cute and closed yeah this is very closed breaks my heart i'm like they hate me they're ruining my life this place guys it is so beautiful having a very hard time writing when I want to sit out here like on that rock. I mean check out that rock. It would be a beautiful place to just sit and read. Whew. It's so pretty. Unfortunately the light is coming in more than it's actually kind of dark in there. And there's a lot of shadows but the camera's picking up so much light, we can't see it, but I'm getting book ideas. Look at this, a rotten log. Where I live, that would just be petrified wood. <laughs> but this is so beautiful. I love it. It reminds me a little bit of when I was in England. And the lichen on the trees. Which, I learned about lichen in... England, Beatrix Potter was one of the first people to discover that lichen is a symbiotic relationship between moss and algae. Isn't that cool? But she, Beatrix Potter was definitely a scientist as well as, look at this, there's this one tree that has turned. So beautiful. Oh, I wonder if I can get a feel. Look, yeah, see that darkness? I wonder if I can get down there and show it. I'm going to try a nice little mossy rock. Where'd it go? Got 
can't come up this way. There we go. But, I don't know how far I can go down without. Let's see if I can zoom in, maybe. Isn't it beautiful? Alright, I'm going to go in and work and not read. I'm so sad. But that's okay. If I work for a while, I'll let myself read. This is where we're staying. It's called Solbakken, which means sunny hill in Norwegian. I'm going to show you this door. It's so cool. There's like these moose tracks. And then a moose. I don't know, maybe it's a caribou. I think it's a moose. I'm not a moose. So here we are, Drury Lane Books. I'm so excited. Cannot wait to see what's in here. <laughs> All right, guys, they're open today. So we are going in because books. Say hi, Kathy. Hi. <laughs> like author event books. I was really trying not to be too obnoxious while I was in the store, but they had so much really just fascinating stuff. I had a very difficult time not just buying everything, but uh, full price books are really expensive. And I understand that more than anyone. This bibliophile journal, journal, yeah, journal looked really cool. I think if you were looking for a reading journal that was all done for you and you could just put information down, that would be a great one. This Revenge of the Librarians, such a hoot. I couldn't stop laughing. But there were quite a few other really neat looking books, some that looked great. And then when we got to reading more about them, we were like, maybe not. But I'm sure there's lots of people out there who would just absolutely love them. Just not me. Um, a career in books. I, I want to look at that. I got distracted and never did look at that. And I was like, come on, what is this about? I don't even know. I just, I don't even know. But then somewhere I was looking at that bibliophile book and it had so many neat things in that. I was really, really impressed but there were just a crazy variety of things I'd never heard of, which is not shocking, I'm sure. But, you know, hey, what can I say? So, is it about the Scarlet Letter? I mean, come on, a novel. Who is the real Hester Prynne? Okay. Interesting. I've never heard anyone mention this one. A young immigrant woman. Okay, in this sensuous and hypnotic. Yeah, it's probably not going to be for me in then. This sensuous and hypnotizing <laughs> tale inspired by the iconic heroine of the Scarlet Letter, a young immigrant woman grapples with the legacy of witchcraft and the horrors of slavery and learns that America's ideas of freedom and liberty often fall short of their promise. Okay. Yeah. Let me see, see the cover. Curvy. Very cool. Read dangerously. Thanks, Stephen King. C.S. Lewis is the right reading line. Content when you use it new or just cloth covered? Once upon a tomb, not time. 2023, so it's new. Ooh. The adventures of a rare bookseller wherein the theory of the profession is partially explained with a variety of insufficient examples by Oliver Darkshire. It sounds like a modern Parnassus on wheels or a haunted <laughs> bookshop, doesn't it? It has illustrations. Well, that's what it said. Oh boy. Well, it's got to come home. I, I have to have it because yes. Look how many footnotes it has. <laughs> I love footnotes. <laughs> I love it. All right. They had a really neat collection of 
all kinds of murdery kind of stuff. They even had the Your Guide to Not Getting Murdered in a Quaint English Village, which if you haven't read, it is a hoot. Go to your library, get that book, find it cheap somewhere. You need to read the book. It's funny. That's a pretty marvel. These are mysteries. Oops, sorry. It's the franchise affair and the daughter of time. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. See, I didn't know anything about her, but look at this. Huh, they that's cool. Are by those other people? Yes. That's kind of... Those are kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, oh, and I wanted to see what to this is. Book, and I did not see it when I was putting out my paperbacks. Myrtle. <laughs> Interesting. Right? Um, I didn't see this book when I was putting out my books, but it was a, uh, you know, one where one chapter is written by one person and the next by another. Oh, yeah. One book in the grave, the grim reader. Am I the only one who, when he goes to a bookstore and I see books that I know and love, I get all excited. It's like meeting an old friend out and about somewhere and you're like, oh! <gasps> Hi! And of course, one of my favorites is here. Things we didn't say. She's a Minnesota author, and I'm thinking that's part of why. Yeah, if you flip around and stare toward the wall where I got all these books, it's right in the middle of the, I think, second shelf. Oh, the photos, are, I mean, the illustrations are beautiful. And look at the little goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's adorable. Where's the moose? I guess some doors. <laughs> oh, so it's a little bit like going on a bear hunt. Anyone who knows me knows that I love the picture books, and going on a bear hunt is one of my absolute favorites. Oh, that's sweet. Yes. And a moose and a moose. That's cute. Yes. Here in the real world. Her name is Sarah Pennypacker. What a great name, Pennypacker. Oh. Let's go soon there, the different bird. That's cool. And here's a children's dictionary. Oh. <laughs> That's how many words we have these. Of course, now there's pictures. We had an occasional illustration in my children's dictionary. Mm -hmm. and I do mean, yes, and I do mean occasional. Reagan slays the dragon. Sadie brave and the braves the wilderness. Wally the word worm. I've never heard of this. Wally the word worm. All right, Chateau. Beef. Beef. Packed up your suitcase enough. <laughs> but, 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 but books and, and books. Because books. That is so cool. Let's see if I can get a, a glare here. Okay, now I'll try. There you go. Let's see if I can get something, just something inside. Oh, I'm trying to decide do I want this? Because I mean, it is cool. Oh, look at that. Mm, that is see. just, there we go. Oh, wow. Okay, flip one more page. Just one more. I may end up having to get that one too, but I got to be careful. I can't overload my suitcase and it won't pay extra to go home. I love it. Oh my. Well, guys, this book, this bookstore, it was amazing. It was okay. It was, let's see the bag. It was expensive. It was expensive and amazing. Check this out, guys. 
Isn't it beautiful? Maybe this isn't amazing to everybody else, but when all you have is creosote and sage and a whole bunch of sand, this, this is amazing. Boats, boats are amazing. Look at that. Hi, Kathy. Wow. <sighs> Such is life. I wish I could just sit here and read one of those books I just bought. But we do have to get back, so, oh well. I just had to share. Here's Shatona on Lake Superior, skipping rocks. Nope, not, skipping. not skipping rocks. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, only two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I only got two twice. That's four. I, that's four. Okay, one, two. <laughs> okay, that's all you get. So, this is really cool. Letter of Sea deck on Lake Superior. But look over here. A free, screen fee public letter writing park and kindness commons. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. Here's the website. Oh look, postcards to send a note. That is so, that is so neat, I love it. Stamps. Oh look, and there's more, and they're already stamped, and there's more over here. That is just super cool. I'm assuming people donated the cards? That's just, it's really neat. Huh, I love it. Stopping for lunch, and I wouldn't have shown this, but guys, check this out. Uh, this is breakfast, we gotta skip a page. You can have burgers. Our burgers are made fresh. And they have a veggie burger that doesn't suck. I mean, come on, come on. And they have Coke. When you stop on the way home, because this, I mean, come on guys, chocolate malt. Does it get more amazing? Probably not. I'm just saying. Oh my goodness, the, look at this guys. Check out this dog of horse. It's enormous. I'm like, where is Troy? And should we be nervous? Um, <laughs> You know, like a Trojan horse. <laughs> it's a dollar horse. I know, but doesn't it feel like? No. <laughs> yes, it does. Not yes, it does. <laughs> it's a dollar horse. <laughs> if that's not cool, I don't know what is. There she is. And whoa! Well, I thought I would share the books I bought at Drury Lane Books, starting with The Midsummer Tomta and The Little Rabbits. Guys, this is so gorgeous. See Midsummer in Sweden, so there's even a bit about it. It's kind of hard to see. What if I do that? Okay, I propped it up so that it will show better, but isn't he adorable? All right, so now that I've shown those, I'm just going to scroll past a few. Doesn't this look just so adorable? I can't stand it. Wedding Among the Lilacs? I can't wait to read that. Look at that bear with the cross and the wreaths and the, oh, can't wait to read this, guys. You have no idea. This is going to be awesome. So there's that one. Then this is kind of like going on a bear hunt, but for like Northwoods moose. So... Looking for a moose. It says, have you ever 
seen a moose, a long-leggy moose, a branchy antler, dinner diving, bulgy nose moose. No, we've never, ever, ever, ever seen a moose, and we really, really want to see a moose. Let's go. We'll put on our hats. We'll pull on our boots. We'll look in the wood, trump stump, trump stump, the treesy, breezy, tilty, stilty, wobbly, knobbly woods. I mean, see what I mean? And then they go, they take off their boots, and they scrape through the bushes. Look how autumnal that is. Can't wait. Look at that, branchy antler moose. Oops. Look how we see, and there's no use. We'll never, ever, ever see a moose. And I won't show you anymore because we wouldn't want to ruin the moose story and then I got bibliophile now I'm sure most people are very familiar with this book I've seen pictures of it but I've never gotten to look at it and it's just a really I'm gonna start back here creativity in the pursuit of happiness and then like books about it and Finding Meaning and Books, Beloved Bookstores, and they show different ones. It's not just those. Bookish People Recommend, and then the books that those people recommend. And more Beloved Bookshores. Shore, bookshores? I like that. Can you imagine a, a shore where books just lap up over your toes? Oh, yes, please. U.S. and the Universe. Us and the Universe. U.S. I'm such an American. Us and the Universe. The fictional planet universe. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Different editions. Bookish people recommend. Five word synopsis quiz. Oh. Oh, that is awesome. I wonder if I can make the page stay open. So I can put my glasses on and read. Okay, five word synopsis quiz. Earth and tea gone forever? Don't know. Hairy footed thief beats dragon? Something versus Godzilla, King Kong versus Godzilla? I don't know. Car, girl smokes booze pie? I don't know. Jazz age flap, tragic spectacle? Could that be Great Gatsby? Huh. I don't know. I mean, this is just historical fiction, novels of the 21st century, iconic covers. I mean, I had to. Writing Rooms, Jane Austen, Henry David Thoreau. I mean, come on. So I got that because yes, please yes. And then it's all back here behind this this guys so this says revenge of the librarians cartoons right well let me tell you something it has nothing to do with librarians it's mostly reading and writing this one's hilarious and sad i can't comprehend it this i, I do not relate to this but it's funny um this one so many authors so many authors Uh, republished for time for a modern raider. 20 legs under the sea. 100 minutes of solitude. <laughs> Novels reworked for better summer reading. I love Jane Airbnb. The Tale of Two City Brinks. Holiday of the Jackal. Old Man and the Siesta. <laughs> so this we were reading it all the way back from Grand Marais where we bought it because it was just so funny. Then, Once Upon a Tome, I know nothing about this, but it says, The Misadventures of a Rare Bookseller by Oliver Darkshire. And again, I know nothing. Welcome to Southern's, one of the oldest bookshops in the world, with its weird and wonderful clientele, suspicious cupboards, unlabeled keys, poisoned books, and some things that aren't even books presided over by one deeply eccentric apprentice. And it sounded a little like Parnassus and Wheels and The Haunted Bookshop, but almost fantasy. So I don't know what it is. I really don't. But I, I, had, to, I had to get in. So 
this will be reading soon because yes and finally one of my favorite ones that I got I've never seen this I don't know how I, I don't know how I've never seen it but I haven't and so I got C.S. Lewis's The Reading Life How to Murder Words um a child does not despise real woods because he is read of enchanted woods. The reading makes real woods a little enchanted. Yes, because yes. Okay, let's literature yeah, li literature as time travel. How to know if you are a true reader. So I'm so looking forward to this. Free to read, free to skip. On two ways of traveling and two ways of reading. Men do not long continue to think what they have forgotten how to say. Why movies sometimes ruin books. On encountering a favorite author for the first time. Ooh, this is one of my favorite C.S. Lewis quotes of all time. Right there. No book is really worth reading at the age of 10, which is not equally and often more worth reading at the age of 50. The only imaginative works we ought to grow out of are those which it would have been better not to have read at all. So this is what I bought. There's my pretty little mini traveling book haul that I now have to find room for in my <laughs> suitcase. But I don't care. Actually, the suitcase has plenty of room. It's just weight, guys. Um, you know, I came here with eight journals that I had made and given away. And I, now I'm taking all these plus one journal and a book home. So, yeah. Yeah, actually two books. She's sending me home with that Peter's book. So, yeah. We shall see. We shall see. See you guys on Thursday with, I don't know what, maybe a huge book haul, I think, because I know there's a bunch of books waiting for me at home. Book outlet and the ones I've been getting, and I ordered a ton on eBay. So I think we're going to have a book haul. See you then. What have you been reading? <laughs>